Buying a home in Ontario can be very time consuming and a complex process. If you are planning to buy a home in Ontario this year, you must watch this video. After watching this video, you will have a better understanding of the whole process of buying a home and the things that you need to keep in mind and prepare. Hi, I'm Jeffy Chen. I'm a realtor in Toronto, Ontario. I help my clients buying, selling, investing in real estate. If you are planning to buy a property in Ontario and you reach out to me to work with you, then I will set up an initial meeting with you to go through your situation and I will ask you the following questions. Who is looking to buy a property? You or for someone else? Who is going to be on title of the property? What is your timeline to have your property purchased? Which neighborhood you are interested in moving into? What type of property you are interested in buying? For example, detached home, semi-detached home, condo, townhome, etc. And how many bedrooms and bathrooms and parking space do you need? Do you need to sell your existing home first? And finally, what is the budget for buying your home? Before you start house hunting, ask yourself a question. Do you need a mortgage financing? If you do, please get the mortgage pre-approval done ahead of time. It is very important that you get this done with the lock-in interest rate from the financial institution. This will give you an idea of how much you can afford to buy and help you determine your budget. Especially in today's market, the interest rate has already gone up eight times in the past year. As to the seller, the seller will feel a lot more comfortable to accept your offer, knowing that you have already done your part to get the financing arranged ahead of time. The seller for sure does not want to accept an offer with a financing condition in it, knowing that there may be a chance that the potential buyer may not be able to get a mortgage. After I got the information from you, including your searching criteria on housing, then I will start searching all the houses that fit your criteria on the market and your house hunting process starts. Once you have found your dream home and you would like to make an offer, the next step is for me to have the agreement of purchase and sales ready. This agreement outlines the terms of sale, such as the offering price, closing date, any other conditions that you might have, such as financing or home inspection. After both the buyer and the seller agree on the terms and conditions in the offer, then the buyer will have 24 hours to make a deposit to the listing bookage. The amount of the deposit is usually about 5% of the final purchase price of the property. The deposit can be made using bank draft, money order, direct deposit from your bank or wiring. For bank draft and money order, I usually will get it from my buyer and then I will take it to the listing bookage and get the receipt from the listing bookage as a proof. If you have any conditions in the offer, then it is time to get them complete. Usually, you have five business days to execute those conditions after the offer is being accepted. If your conditions are fulfilled and you are happy to proceed, then you will need to sign a form called Notice of Fulfillment. If you are not quite happy with the outcomes of any of the conditions, but you still want to proceed with the deal, you can either sign the waiver or we can go back to the seller and the listing agent and start the second round of negotiation. This usually will end up signing another form of amendment to the original offer. Or in the worst case, you cannot fulfill any of the conditions in the offer and you would like to cancel the deal. Then you can sign the mutual release form and the deposit will be returned back to you with no penalty or any charges. Once all of your conditions are fulfilled and you are happy to proceed, then this is where your lawyer comes into the play. Your lawyer will work on the deal on your behalf. 
they will perform all the standard procedures to make sure the deal will go through smoothly. For example, your lawyer will do the title search on the property, making sure that there's no liens or any other work order against the property. Your lawyer will also work with your financial institution to have your mortgage set up. This involves paying the down payment, closing costs, any other fees, and signing the final documents. About the closing costs and fees, your lawyer will usually give you a full list of what they are. Usually, most common ones are land transfer tax, title search and insurance, final adjustment of the charges to the property at closing, and lawyer fee. In the offers that I prepared for my buyer clients, I usually have a cost to allow my clients go back to the property two to three times before closing. This way, my client can go back to the property at a later date to do some measurement if they need to do a renovation. Especially the last visit before the closing date, I usually would suggest my clients to go back to check everything in the property, making sure that everything is in working order. For example, fridge, stove, faucet, shower, and toilet. And make sure that there will be no new damages inside or outside of the property. And finally, the closing date. This is the date that you take possession of your new home. And usually, I will show up as well, just to make sure that everything in the home is okay. And of course, I will not just show up empty-handed. Okay, there you have it. This is basically what you need to know about the process of being a buyer in Ontario. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you need help or advice in real estate, either in buying, selling, or investing, please feel free to reach out to me. You can find my contact information down below. If you would like to see more of my contents on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the meantime, please take care of yourself and your family. Bye.